One of the features of the forensic capability uh, that Curator has is the ability to add files, not just pick up file, which is the normal way of doing, but actually manually, let's say that you have, uh, you collected somewhere uh, some evidence on a group of, a large group of files, and you want to add those, uh, not on, again, not on the format of PCAP, but uh, in the standard form, Word documents, spreadsheet, uh, JPEG, GIF, etc. If you go into the admin tab on their forensic and case management, all you need to do is actually, as the, the GUI indicates, drag and drop the files here, and they do get indexed. And actually, drop those uh, the seven files, seven image files on a on a spreadsheet, and I put it on there. Uh, the case uh, Josh and under the collection uh, Josh uh, import. After doing that, if I go to the forensic, I put here uh, to search precisely for that case John and uppercase collection Josh import. Uh, and here are the files and you can do things like, let's start with file analysis. So I'm going to select all the files as I done before and I'm going to perform a file analysis. And what we get here is, of course, we've seen before, you know, the on file hash, and that's that's important if you want to see, you know, where else has these particular files seen in the system. You can, the system look for it uh, by the hash. But uh, in here, what we can see is uh, the detection by the technology of uh, embedded macros or script type of uh, content on that document and that can potentially be malicious. If we right click on the document, the document actually looks pretty innocuous. You know, seems to be some banking related information, nothing bad, but what you don't see when you display the document is the actual script. If we actually display the script, we actually see that, I mean, in this particular case, we, we are not doing anything malicious, but just to illustrate that we can, uh, we are doing pinging, and then this, uh, we are pinging the local host, but in this case, you might be pinging a command and control uh, to start receiving commands to perform your deeds, and here we show us uh, running uh, an executable. In this case, is just Notepad, but just to illustrate the case of it. You can also do things like uh, displaying the entropy of the actual file. And this is Shannon's entropy. And basically, when you get all this kind of a big variation, that denotes some potentially uh, uh, interesting information. For example, if we do the same operation in any one of the uh, other files, we display the entropy we see that you know you get like a some sort of a constant line so there's no there's nothing interesting let's let's actually do it on 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 this one as well and it should be a similar result you see yeah so there's no interest evidence in there let's go back and keep uh, performing all the things. Now that, that is, having still all those files selected, we can show uh, the feature of uh, image analysis. We show we showed it before, but this uh, I want to illustrate here that the, a, a human can actually take a, a quick glance at a bunch of document and find maybe inappropriate material or something that is odd. For example, this seems to be a bunch of vacation uh, photos, and this one and that one doesn't seem to match the the, the same uh, pattern and we can actually uh, display the, the the file it should be here in the background and you know no, that that's the uh, the actual uh, bank uh, type of uh, image and this is you know, the other image. So, so the, the actual uh, uh, forensic investigator can actually determine, you know, what is it that uh, this particular uh, file content uh, reveals. Let's go back and let's do some link analysis. And for that, I'm not going to be just doing it on these uh, elements alone. I'm just going to do 
in all the documents that we have, we, let's look for the for the word uh, Facebook. We perform a search. We have you know almost three thousand documents. Let's select them all and do a link analysis. And what we see here is that this is actually somebody using Bing as a search engine. We can actually display the the data about the, the document and we see, you know, look at that. These are the searches that the guys was was actually you doing and highlighted in uh, in yellow are the actual uh, places where the individual actually click and so the individual was actually play, uh, clicking on uh, this particular document which is actually you know password recovery mm, that, that's maybe he's having problem with his password let's display this one again you see the relationship with when 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 the individual went from one to another. Hack, hacking password. This doesn't look too good. Let's click on that one again. You see, th this gives the capability uh, of the forensic investigator to see what is it that the person was really up to uh, in this particular case with web searches. But as we have shown before, it can be you know chatting, telnet, everything that actually. Uh, goes on the wire gets the, detected by the actual tool you see right? this obviously doesn't look uh, doesn't look uh, pretty good so again you're showing some of the uh, characteristics uh, that the forensic tool allows you to find um, important information this is the way of doing forensic right when you need it from an offense from the same tool this is forensic that is not as expensive and time consuming as it used to be.